Hello, I'm Dave. Welcome to my Technical Notes channel. In Technical Note 88, I'm demonstrating a concept which I've called a sensor monitor. So it's using the clients, the client sensors I demonstrated back in uh, Tech Note 80 and uh, bringing all those designs together. So this is what it looks like running. Here's the home page. It's got a ability to view the sensors, view locations. So that's the sensor view. And I've got one, a sensor in the garage, one in the dining room, one in the conservatory, one in a bedroom. And those are the various sensor types and the channel numbers assigned by the clients, actually. So the client issues a sensor number and those are the, the values there. Up to four fields per channel or sensor and you can assign an icon to the uh, channel so there's it's uh, more pictorial view using icons of course it can be any jpeg um, png gif or bmp image file i've just provided eight or so examples um, you can graph the data so i'll I'll graph the conservatory data. Wait for it to come up and uh, 2,200 readings. And we'll scroll across in steps of 250. So move forward quite quickly and there's a progress bar there. And uh, so you can see all the current readings for each channel. Uh, the number of graphs that are displayed are a function of which fields are enabled. So if there's only one field enabled, there's only one graph, two, two fields, two graphs, three fields, three fields, three graphs, and so on. So in this example, it's a BME 280, and there are three fields there. Temperature, humidity, and pressure. Um, nothing much more to say except that obviously that's, I think that's quite useful to be able to graph the data and uh, ordinarily you'll see um, up to four graphs there depending on the data availability. It takes a little while to pull those images off the SD card but uh, even so reasonably quick. There's the channel setup. You type in the icon name there and it will uh, display it accordingly. So back to um, the home page. Uh, that's combining some of the earlier tech notes of the ability to stream, download, upload, open, delete, open, um, upload, and open, download. So you can either do it by channel or any file you like. You can download any file, erase any file, etc. The data size is scaled from bytes to kilobytes to megabytes to gigabytes and so on. Um, there's a help screen there just to remind you how to do certain tasks. And it recovers from power supply failure. And there it's its normal place. They're sitting, listening for servers and then updating the screen. Reminder once again, for those who haven't seen the video before, this is the connection for the SD card. Um, fairly straightforward, but look at some of the other tech notes for more detailed explanation. So it's a combination of tech node 80, tech node 83, bring in that uh, graphing and uh, display capability together with the ability to receive sensor data from those clients. So all the client code is all on GitHub, including a sleeping versions as well. Um, bringing that together with the ability to uh, manage files, so upload, download, delete stream, directory services, bring it all together as one composite project, which I've called Sensor Monitor. So this is the home page, um, a series of buttons. So you can either call the uh, functions by the button or by the um, menu on the bottom there. If 
there are some functions that are only available on the bottom menu so for example arrays with square brackets around I've designated as what I call an open arrays that means you can erase any file on the SD card similarly download you can either download a channel data or you can download any file you like um, the upload is already open you can upload any file to the SD card in one of the earlier tech notes I just used a simple table view of sensors now I've added icons which I think it helps in um, visualizing what where the data is coming from without having to read the the text there's some of the example icons I've included as a garage there's outside there's dining room bedroom house study conservatory or factory you can include any any icon you like picture of a dog for a kennel or wherever so it's really the concept is to monitor an environment and using a pictorial view of the data as it comes in and of course you can set those channels to be anything you like they don't have to be temperature they could be voltage or um, location in terms of latitude longitude all sorts of things that could be included the graphing you've seen before in some of the earlier tech notes so each channel um, can be graphed um, uses Google Charts and it's got a progress bar along the bottom there to tell you where you are in the data series or the data set and there's 500 data points across each graph and when you go left or right you're moving in steps of 250 when you get to the end of the graph it zooms in so it um, no longer displays uh, not 500 it, it displays um, down to 250 to 500 if you if you get my understanding of that so you effectively get a zoom as you get to the end of the graph which is the most current data graphs are turned on and off depending on whether the channels are turned on or off so if the field description for field 4 is currently unused in that example was blank it wouldn't display a channel I put the words unused in so it displays zeros similarly for pressure temperature humidity so if if all the fields bar one are, are blank there'll only be one graph on the screen and um, up to four in terms of internal design a uh, concept is of channels so one two six or twelve channels or however many each channel has a description a name a um, a sensor type a um, and then a series of field names field one to four um, so field one temperature field one units degrees Celsius or whatever you want degrees Fahrenheit um, so it's displaying the value the sensor values as it's received so if it's received in Fahrenheit it's displayed in Fahrenheit it's not making any conversions similarly for pressure or any other um, values received um, it could be positional informational sorts of information um, sensor one is assigned to channel one sensor two to channel two and so on so that's the relationship i'm trying to show that in that diagram there and when the data is displayed it uses the channel definition to display the data including its icon um, in terms of storage it's four bytes per value so um, it's real data so the temperature 20 degrees Celsius is stored in a four byte variable so that enables you to work out the sizing for long-term data logging in summary then it's 
represents the design and bringing together those four basic three or four basic designs a general purpose sensor monitor for want of a better term and name it's a scalable design you can vary the number of channels in the um, compilation um, stage if you like to call it that vary the number of channels and it will vary the number of channels displayed all of the displays in html are scalable so they'll expand and shrink accordingly and they will also work on a mobile device as well you can um, you can change the icon for each channel you could have a picture of a dog you don't have to have those icons you could have um, real images if you like to uh, call them that the bringing together all those file management services, including um, constricted ones, so channel, upload, download, and open, upload, and download. So you've got best of both worlds there. And um, so bringing it all together, I think, represents a fully functional um, sensor monitor that you can use to monitor an environment, um, listening out for all those clients asynchronously sending their data and when it's received it's collated stored on the SD card or spiffs if you convert it to spiffs and um, displays the results accordingly and it gives you and uh, the ability to asynchronously you don't have to wait for anything go in and graph the data and see how it's uh, varying over time or well, not necessarily time over readings if each reading is coming in at um, non-time related or non-real-time basis. I hope you find the software useful. I hope you found this video useful. And um, Please subscribe to the channel and, um, and like the channel, especially like the video if you could please. Um, enjoy the software. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful.